You know, I've been doing this a long time. <clears throat> I've been doing YouTube for 12 years. I've been doing these particular videos for about 11. And I've been on social media for probably just as long. Probably a lot longer because I was probably doing this when I was a teenager. And I know that there's a lot, and I know especially nowadays, there's a lot of scum and villainy out there. There's a lot of sick twisted people but this project that I'm working on that was brought to my attention by my fellow comrade Net and that has been covered by my fellow comrades Kara Stokely Jason Unruh There is, there exists somewhere in Arizona an organization called Midnight Productions. Now, I was initially going to write a script and just do this as one video. But in order to properly do this, this has led not only this has ended up leading Jason, myself, Net, Dark Zenovia, Kara, and so many of us down a goddamn rabbit hole that to properly do a video on this, I will actually need to do proper research and review a lot of different resource material. So this is why it's going to be in two parts. This one, of course, being the first part, I'm just going to give a broad overview of what this organization is. And in the next video, I will do a deep dive, which I don't know how long that's going to be, because with all the material that's in it, This is, might end up being the longest video I've ever put out in a very, very long time, at least on this channel. Hell, I might even have to just do a freaking live stream. I don't know. Um, but... Basically what Midnight Productions is, is a human trafficking ring. Not only human trafficking, we're, we're not just talking about people that, you know, are basically forcing women, trans people, minors into sexual slavery. We're not just talking about a crim just a regular criminal organization. This is a highly organized and unfortunately even police backed organization. And it's based in Arizona. 
there are police officers, judges, politicians, all kinds of people. Just the, the level of corruption involved in this goes beyond even a criminal organization. This is organized crime. This isn't just, this isn't just, you know, a bunch of fucking, you know, twats, you know, from another country or even from this country who are just sick, demented, twisted, cruel people who are essentially forcing these women into, into slavery and sexual abuse. No. This goes deeper than that. And that's why it's going to take me some time to write a script and thoroughly investigate this. I will link the, the video by Comrade Ned and Jason Unruh and Kara and others so that you can at least get a, a feeling off so that you can at least get a feeling of what I'm talking about because I was passing the information along for net to the community about a month ago but I didn't particularly myself know what the fuck this was but now I have a somewhat broad idea, but I wanted to at least bring forward what this is and what to expect going forward. I wish I did not know what this organization was, but I'm also very glad that Net has shared this information with us and that we in the community are trying to point it out so that maybe with a shred of hope there can be justice for these individuals these people as I said are, tra are trafficking minors, trans people. You know, they're... It, it, it's disgusting. And it needs to be stopped. It needs to be pointed out. And if names and associates happen to crop up who are linked with this organization, they need to be exposed. This is basically like some Jeffrey Epstein shit. I don't know, man. Once this um, project is done, I will be filming and releasing the season three finale. Because I will be trying to get this done relatively soon. Because I need to take a couple weeks probably off of YouTube and social media because between this and the Vicky video I've kind of lost my faith in humanity a little bit I mean not that it ever was you know not that I ever really had a whole lot of high shred of hope and humanity.
but it's definitely lowered it to the point where I need to go do stuff that actually is going to like lift my spirits and whatnot. But, that being said, when I return, I'm hoping to continue making the, the kick-ass content, better kick-ass content, for you guys. I'm also working to make this channel more professional looking. I'm obviously, it, with the exception of this one, I'm trying to do a lot more script writing, and so I'm, I'm trying to essentially schedule schedule stuff around my individual seasons going forward. One of those is that I plan on writing during the evening on Sunday. Monday I will film and I will release videos. That time will usually end up being around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, uh, 7 p.m. Mountain. And if you live in the UK, that would pro UK Ireland area, that would probably be I would I believe like one in the morning. I think maybe two in the morning. Um, but know that that's going to be what I'm going to try to do on Mondays. My Marxist Maoist Mondays, whatever I'm going to go with for that. That will be the video. That will be the red peg and corner video of the of the week. I also plan on releasing videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, as part of to be part more in part of the the Maoist Rebel News Network. Now. That issue right there comes with the fact that we've been having a lot of issues because it's just a few of us doing this. But I want to do my part to be more part of this, to be more structured, to be, be more disciplined in helping out Jason and our community. He does videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll try to put in, you know, for Tuesdays and Thursdays with videos that I will record on most likely Mondays and Tuesdays <clears throat> and have those be released again at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <clears throat> I am... <clears throat> trying to put in more effort to, you know, and more professionalism, and in this case even money, to try and make this channel better and to be more involved with my community, which is one of the reasons why a long while back I created my Discord and why I've, I can t try to be at least somewhat active on Twitter. So, no, those are some updates that are coming forward following the release of this rabbit hole that is Midnight Productions. Until then, I'm Red Peg and Nicole, and this is Red Peg and Corner. Until next time. <laughs>